Hey everybody, you know, I'm so glad that you're here this week uh, to talk relationships uh, with us during our series called Red Flags, Respect, and Relationships. And you heard me right, we're talking about relationships and the complicated stuff that comes with them right here at church. Things like uh, red flags that we want to notice and avoid, the respect we want to give and receive from others, and the relationships we want to have with people who actually care and support us. Why? Because uh, we believe a church is one of the best places to have these uh, conversations like this. It's a, a safe place filled with people who care about you, support you, and want to help you to navigate your relationships in a way that honors God, others, and yourself. So I want you to think of something that uh, mattered to you in elementary school, not that you're in middle school, what mattered to you in elementary school. And uh, when I say something, I just want you to think yes or no, right? And I, I know, I know uh, what's interesting, uh, those things that had a ton of value when you were younger, but as you grow up, they probably change a little bit. All right, you guys ready? Smartphone, an appliance or a manual? A slice of pizza, how about your friends? What about tax returns? Your hobbies like uh, video games, sports, art, theater, dance, or music. What about a classroom? What about a tablet? You see what I mean? There are things that benefit you some in some way, but the things you don't value, those things that you really uh, don't do much for you, they aren't adding much to your life right now. So sometimes without realizing it, we treat the people in our lives the same way. When they can do something for us or give something back to us, then we consider them valuable. But when they don't, well, you know, it's a, that's, a, that's when we begin to treat them like the, they've lost their importance. Now, I know we might not all be doing this, or maybe some of us are without even realizing it. Still, it's important to talk about uh, because it's a big deal, especially when it comes to things like relationships. Now, we might be tempted to talk about the, the people we're attracted to in ways that aren't honoring to them. We may say things about their bodies, their personalities that, that aren't all that respectful, both to their faces or behind their backs. We might even choose to keep thinking about them uh, in ways that don't value them. Now those are the kinds of thoughts we wouldn't want them uh, or really anybody else to know about. These thoughts might be uh, red flags, signals to check in and ask, is that thought valuing the other person? In all those situations, we're not thinking about how it makes the other person feel, we're just thinking about ourselves. No matter how it happens, the truth is this. We don't treat others like they have value. We wind up treating them like objects instead of people. Objects that might have meant something to us when we first saw them, right? Objects uh, that now just don't seem to have the same value uh, when they're not giving, giving us anything that we want. Deep down, all of us want to be valued. God made each of us, and because of that, we are all valuable. That fact should be the starting place for how we treat other people and ourselves. But we shouldn't stop there. Believing we deserve value because of uh, God is one thing. Actually treating other people, uh, that's true, is another. Thankfully, Jesus gave us a, a clear picture of how we to treat other people like they have value. And it's what we're going to uh, look at today. About 2,000 years ago, uh, right, uh, Jesus was having a conversation with some smart people. These were religious leaders and lawyers who really disliked Jesus. The people were supposed to listen to them, follow their rules, and obey God's laws the way uh, they did. But then Jesus came along and he started teaching something different. Jesus observed all of God's laws, but he did so in a way that was full of love. In the encounter we're going to look at today, a group of religious leaders had approached Jesus to debate a question and try to catch him saying the wrong thing. Finally, one of them spoke up and basically said, okay, Jesus, what's the most important commandment that God has for all of us? He said this, you must love the Lord God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind, and all your strength. The second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. No other commandment is greater than these. Mark 12, 30, 31. See, God cares about how we value others and ourselves. So if we want to follow God's uh, greatest command, we must start with value for everyone, including ourselves. That's, uh, that's especially important when it comes to relationships. If we want to avoid uh, becoming a, a walking red flag, we must check the way that we think about and treat other people. You handle an object or a thing, but you love and value and respect a person. We must show others respect 
Then that starts with practicing integrity, which is choosing to respond to the, the things that we feel, think, and desire in a way that respects ourselves, others, and God. In addition to respecting others, it's important that we, we choose to love and respect ourselves because God cares about how we value ourselves and others. When we're tempted to make jokes or participate in behaviors or treat someone else with a certain way just to get uh, what we want in return, no. What can we do to treat ourselves and others with value and respect? Here are three questions I think you can ask. First, red flags. Do you believe that uh, we all have value to God, others, and ourselves? If you don't respect yourself or your body, it's going to be hard to, to value others or to know what it means to, to be valued by others. Here's a great test. What do you think about yourself when you look in the mirror? Are your words, actions, or thoughts showing uh, you any red flags about the way that you value yourself? Then think about the, the same when it comes to others. Are your words, behaviors, and thoughts a red flag for how you see the person that you're attracted to? What would it look like to treat yourself and others in a way that honors God? Consider what it might look like to, to make a change both in the, the way you respect yourself and the way you respect others. Who couldn't you talk to for help? Maybe some of you aren't sure what it looks like to, to value yourself and others. Find a trusted adult to help you uh, navigate what that means for you, right? For others of you, you may feel like you don't have value because of the way someone else has treated you. I want you to think about the way you can value uh, other people in your group by listening to them, or encouraging them, and keeping your, your circle a safe place for everyone to share and grow when it comes to things like uh, valuing others or valuing yourself even. And before we leave, you know, I want you guys to think about this. Uh, what's one way that you can find value in somebody else this week, all right? So, hey, you know, I hope you heard something that you, you liked today. If you did, hit that like button. You know, if you want to subscribe to this, uh, just hit that subscribe button. And, uh, you know, if you really liked it, hit that share button, man. Share it with your friends. Uh, we all need uh, somebody that we can talk to. So put it out there and say, hey, I'm here for you, you know, and, and listen to this video. So I love you guys. You know, if you're around Hope on a Wednesday night, stop in from 6 to 8. If you're here on the weekend, stop in for a service at 1030. Man, I'd love to talk to you about Jesus because you know what? I value you guys. So I love you. Have a great week. Peace out.